Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So, Daryl Dixon and Carol Pelletier have sort of an interesting dynamic on The Walking Dead. I mean, for one thing, they're the only two characters in Season 9 right now that have been on the show since Season 1. They are the only two Season 1 characters that are on the show right now. That's pretty crazy. A lot of people ship them. A lot of people want them to have a romance. And I don't completely blame them. There were some moments especially in season two and season three where it seemed like they they might have eventually gotten together like there's a few moments where it seemed like there it was implied that maybe there there was something brewing between them something romantic but that kind of just went away in season four <laughs> and after that she she seemed like carol seemed like more of a motherly figure to daryl than a romantic type there was the one part and the very first episode of season three, right when they get to the the prison where where Carol like attempts to sleep with him, I shit you not. Rewatch the first episode of season three. Carol attempts to sleep with Daryl. I mean, it's not a big deal. She just wants to have fun, but Daryl just like snorts. <laughs> That's his response, and Carol laughs. Um. I think that might have been one of those scenes where a few people started to think that maybe he was asexual or something. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. Maybe he just wasn't ready for a romance. And maybe he hasn't been ready for romance until around now. But I'll get to that. But yeah, Carol and Daryl, you know, they had a few moments in season two where I felt like maybe there was something romantic between them. I mean, they definitely cared a lot about each other. That's not disputable. Daryl and Carol definitely care about each other. Um, you know, ever since Daryl started looking for Sophia and he started being hopeful again, even even when everyone else gave up gave up on looking for Sophia, Daryl kept looking for Sophia, and, and he and Carol spent a lot of time together. And Carol played a big part in and Daryl becoming more than just an, an angry redneck that was basically Merle Dixon's servant. Carol played a big part in in Daryl becoming his own man, and in season two. I mean, he still had some 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 things to iron out, but close to the end of season two, Daryl was pretty much a decent person, and he was loyal to Rick's group, and he was loyal to Rick and Carol. And you know, in season three, Daryl was really close to Rick. Daryl was like Rick's second in command and everything. And like I said, there's a few moments with Daryl and Carol where it seemed like maybe maybe there would be a romance, but. Once season four started and, and Scott Gimple basically took over, it really started to seem like they still they still care deeply about each other, but Carol was more like a a, a mother or a parent figure to Daryl, and I mean I, I know some people are still holding out hope that they will get together, and who knows maybe they will. I mean, I'm not, I'm not against them never getting together. I, I like the idea of them just being friends and Carol just being like a motherly figure to Daryl. I mean, it's I mean, how many seasons does it take for them to to get together? I mean, they've already been uh, on the show for nine seasons. I mean, what, what does it take? Is it just like friends or something where they don't get together until the end? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I personally like the idea of just of them just caring about each other. Like, there's no romantic you know there's nothing attached there's no strings attached to it they just care about each other it's just a man and a woman caring about each other if it's romantic fine i just i just want it to be organic to the to the show and to the characters and at this point i mean they've just been like friends for so long i don't know if i see them just randomly hooking up i don't know i, I just want it to be done right and i want it to be organic to the plot I mean, right now in season nine, Carol is married, so you know there's that. Um, but you know she's married to Ezekiel. The thing is, if the show follows the comics, Ezekiel's going to be dying soon, like really soon, like two weeks from now. <laughs> um, if he does die, then Carol will no longer be married. She will be single. She will be angry, and she will, you know, be slaughtering the whispers like the. TI 83 from Terminator, um, like she'll be going super Rambo and she'll be super angry and this and that. But, you know, she, she will be single. You know, she will no longer be married to Ezekiel. She will be a widow like Maggie was. And yeah, that does sort of free up the possibility of Daryl and Carol getting together. But keep in mind, for one thing, 
it wouldn't be until like probably season 11 because Carol would need that time to heal, you know, she's not gonna um, lose Ezekiel and, and, and Ezekiel, you know, violently die and her have to have to cope with that loss and then just instantly hook up with Daryl. That's that's not how it works, especially in a marriage. You know, when when, when you lose um, your spouse, especially at, at a young age like they are, I mean, they're, they're only like middle aged, something like that. You know, if you if you lose your spouse at that age, it's it's a huge just unexpected loss that just crushes you for the most part. I mean, you know, for the most part, um, it's a huge loss. It's, it's devastating. Y you don't expect it and you would need time to heal. You would need a lot of time to heal, maybe years to heal, you know? Um, so Carol would probably need that long to heal that she would need that long before she even looks at another man with any interest with, with, with even the slightest bit of interest in a romance. She would need time to heal. So, you know, if she and Daryl got together, it probably wouldn't be in... And it's not going to be in Season 9. I mean, Season 9 is almost over, you know. Um, it's it's probably not going to be in Season 10 because they're going to be busy fighting the Whispers. Carol's going to be busy avenging Ezekiel's death. She's not going to care about a romance. Um, it, it could be in Season 11. It, it could be. That could be, That could be when it happens. But, you know... Yeah, I'd, I'd give her like a couple of seasons. I, I don't know what the, the timeline would be. They're probably not going to do any crazy time jumps anymore because they want to keep Judas actress, you know. Um, so they're, they're probably not going to do any crazy, crazy ass time jumps. They might just have season 10 be like a year after season 9. Season 11 is a year after season 10. That way Judas actress, she ages appropriately with the timeline of the show. I really hope they do that. I don't want them to do what they did with Carl, where he's like a 20-year-old playing a 14-year-old still. Like, just make time go by. Like, keep keep it keep it in line with the actress's actual growing growing up and everything. But yeah, I mean, I'd I'd give I'd give it at least two seasons. I'd wait. I'd give it until at least season 11 for for Daryl and Carol to to get romantically involved, because Carol would need time to heal from Ezekiel's death. There's another thing to consider. I personally think that Daryl might end up having a thing with Connie. They've been sort of going out, they've just kind of been going out in the woods together, and and I don't know, there's just, there's just something about them. I do think, I'm not much of a shipper, but I do think that Daryl and Connie could end up getting together and having a romance, and maybe I'm wrong, but I'm, t I'm telling you, I, I think it's going to happen. I, I just, I think it's going to happen. I just, um, I mean, her, just from her laughing at, at the dog breaking the arrow and, and when they both like shoot a walker at the same time and it's, it's filmed in a way where you can just tell they both killed walkers at the exact same time. Just little things like that. I know it's hard to explain and I know it sounds like I'm reading too much into it, but I'm telling you, there's a very good, a very strong chance that Daryl and Connie would get together. So... I mean, Connie would have to get killed. Connie would have to get out of the way for, for Daryl and Carol to get together. So, I don't know. I mean, Daryl and Carol could get together. They could also stay friends. I'm not opposed to that. I'm not against that. They've been friends for so long. Maybe they should just stay that way. But if they do get together, it probably won't be until season 11 because Carol, at least, would need to heal from Ezekiel's death. If Ezekiel dies in season 9, and I do think there's a good chance that Ezekiel will die in season 9, Carol needs time to heal from that before she and Daryl will have a relationship. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 417 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 500 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts, every bit of support matters, and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 500. Anyway, with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye!